What's up? I'm Louis Knox. You're watching Behind the Ink on pitcam.tv. What was your most painful tattoo? Uh, I think it was that this little one down here. It just that hurt real bad. It was very small. And on the eyelids, didn't it hurt? It didn't hurt so much, but it was real scary because <laughs> I'm sticking it into your eye. So yeah. Do you want to tell us a bit about your tattoos? Like maybe what this one means, or like the uh, ones here? Not much of them mean anything. I just kind of like heaps of my friends' tattoos, so I go hang out, and then uh, we'll be bored, and then I'll be like, tattoo me, and I'll be like, what do you want? And then we have to think of something on the spot. So that's how it usually happens. Wow. Yeah. Well, when did you start tattooing yourself? Uh, I got my first one when I was 14 on my shoulder, and it was my girlfriend's initials. It was done with uh, just a hand poke for the needle. Yeah. She's still your girlfriend? <laughs> no, fuck no. We're 14. So you regret the tattoo? No, no, I don't care. It's like, it doesn't matter. It's just, yeah. I was young and having fun. So it's like a reminder of a certain time in my life. So that's all right. Did yeah. you start getting into tattoos when you were 14? or? Yeah, well, I guess like that's when I got my first. I don't think I got a second until I was about 17. But yeah. So it just kind of progressed from there. But yeah, I always wanted them. Because like, when I was younger, where I grew up in New Zealand, like a lot of people were tattooed in the community I grew up in. So it was just kind of, it was kind of normal for me where I grew up. Yeah. yeah. Do you just want to tell us a bit about the ones on your neck? Just um, explain them. I got that 06 there, and that's the area code of my hometown, New Plymouth in New Zealand. Um, what else have I got? Till My Death, written under there. That's um, a song titled by a guy that first ever like put me on a record label and got me started doing music. So I got like his song that I really liked tattooed under there. Just kind of... Appreciation. Yeah, yeah. Like, show him I appreciated him and pay homage, yeah. And I saw you have the same uh, numbers as JJ, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't remember exactly when we got that, but we got a couple matching tattoos now. Yeah, I have his initials there, uh-huh. and he has mine in the same spot, and we got, yeah, the 424, which is just DTD and numbers. So, yeah, but that's one of my favorite ones. I like that one. Because okay. I can't grow a proper sideburn, so I just have a tattooed one, yeah. What is probably your favorite tattoo? Um, I like that one a lot. I don't know. I don't really have favorites, they're just all kind of like, it all starts to blend into one thing after some time and then, yeah. There's certain ones I'm particularly fond of, like whatever. I like that DTD there, and um, that BWW, uh, like the worm and the tequila glass, <laughs> and the LK up there, I like my big fish. But wow. yeah, I've got heaps of shit ones as well. So. <laughs> They were kind of mixed up. Do you yeah. ever regret any of your tattoos, or is it just... No, nah, I don't give a fuck. I don't care anymore. I, I stopped caring ages ago. It was fine. I'm, yeah, I'm happy to look like this. When's your next tattoo? Or have you planned on getting a next um, tattoo? Yeah, I still got my whole back free, so I want to get that all done. But I'm also going to get my whole skull wow. done soon, which I'm real excited about. You think it'll hurt? Uh, I've seen people get it done and it looks like it hurts, yeah, so I imagine it will, but fuck, I, when I get tattooed, like if it's something big, I just sit there and get it out of the way yeah. rather than fucking keep going back. But I've got a guy that's going to do it, I've already talked to him about it, so I'm really excited about looking like a fucking freak with my whole <laughs> head tattooed. Well, I hope everything works out for you. Yeah, thank you. Alright, so that was the end of our interview? Yeah. Yeah, thank you for doing it with us.